Howdy folks, it's me, Mr. Whiskers. Today I'm super excited. I've had several friends of mine ask me about peach wine. Got a few peaches, so we're going to do just that, make some peach wine. Now before we get started, go down below, hit that notification bell on the subscribe side. Hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, that way you get notified every time we upload new content. Also, hit that like button. Don't forget to, to uh, even comment on the video too. That way we let Facebook and everybody else know on YouTube that you like getting this content. Now, the program is brought to you by The Beard Struggle. So if you're trying to grow a beard, have one, know someone who has one, trying to find that perfect gift for that person who has everything already, but they have whiskers, go to thebeardstruggle.com. Use discount code Mr. Whiskers15 and you will get 15% off your purchase. Use that discount code every time you shop. Who doesn't love saving an extra 15%? So do it today. Let's get right on into this. For those of you who know me well, you know I normally use pantyhose to strain the fruit. Today, because I'm using peaches, it's going to be a white wine. I have already frozen ahead of time and thawed out 10 pounds of peaches. So I'm just going to put them right in the bag. I'm going to make a mess on my stove top. It's okay, I'll clean it. Otherwise, I'll be out of the house and we don't want it, do we? No! Alright. Like I said, 10 pounds of peaches. That breaks down to two and a half pounds per gallon. So if you want to make just one gallon, there you go with the math. Uh, I normally try to get one gallon batches just because, well, with my back, it just makes it easier to lift a one gallon fermenter as opposed to a, a 10 or 15 or 20, which I used to do years ago. But, you know, you get old and Sometimes you make a little all right. Now what I'm gonna do now is what I always try to do, keep a hand towel handy, dry the fingers, because we're gonna be doing some dry enzymes here. guys have seen me do this before. Because I'm making four gallons, I'm going to need four Camden tablets. And remember, those are the uh, going to be the little extra to keep the uh, bad bacteria down. Because we want to make sure that, by all means, we keep a clean in here. So what I'm doing is I'm just crushing up the tablets. I'm going to have the acid blend. It helps if you have dry fingers for this part. I'm going to do two tablespoons of the acid blend. And again, that's because I'm making four gallons. That's all I had on that one. Then we're going to get uh, pectin enzyme. I'm going to need four teaspoons of the pectin. Of course, That's all I had on that one too. Well, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. I need one tablespoon of tannins. Now, this comes off the skin of the grape. It's going to kind of help give the, the wine a little bit of that bite. 
that you want. One tablespoon coming right up. And then I need two teaspoons of yeast energizer. And from that, I'm then going to add, if I can get the measuring spoon that I want, that would be awesome. Two teaspoons of Energizer. One. And that's just about all I had on that one too. Alright. Now, what I will do from here is I'm going to stir everything in, make sure it's good and mixed in, and then, of course, squeeze the pulp. That part is, is important. You want to get all the juice out of that fruit. And I will spend the next, oh, the next week or so squeezing. So I'm not going to squeeze everything out quite yet, but I will get some good free-flowing movement in there. And of course, what I will do is I'll add water up to the point of four gallons. I'm going to add eight pounds of sugar. Then tomorrow, about the same time roughly, I'm going to add the yeast. Now if you watch the show regularly, I typically use a sherry or a champagne style yeast just because it has a better start for its uh, fermentation and I have fewer problems with that. It's just one of my personal preferences. You can use a regular wine yeast. I always use wine yeast no matter what when I'm making wine because I'm making wine. I'll never use bread yeast because that is used for baking. Wine yeast is used for fermenting liquids. So that's what I do. Now Again, I've got the four gallons on this one started. I'll add the yeast tomorrow. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, put them in the comment section. Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends. And don't forget to go to the, uh, the beardstruggle.com. I'll get it spit out here in a second. And again, Mr. Whiskers 15 will get you the 15% discount. I thank you all for coming in today. We'll see you next time. Don't forget. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys.